Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Get into the field. You know what? And this is a big problem. And I've seen this on social media. Uh, I've seen this uh, with um, in-person seminars when I used to do them. So this ain't even a new issue. And I've seen this on my private sites. You know what? Too many men are watching these videos, watching all these Dayton Coach videos, and still not making any moves. And this is something I actually, I'm giving y'all a little bit of the uh, stuff I might talk about on my Patreon. I talked about this a while ago. But too many guys, I noticed, you know, I'm, you know, I check out other Dayton coaches and everything, see, you know, see what they say, especially they got some good stuff. I mean, you know, I'll check out Alan Roger Curry, Lucario. You know, see what they got. And yeah, I always check comments to see, like, who following who and stuff, you know. And even I, ch- I even check out AMS every now and then, right? And I noticed you start noticing in the comments people, you start noticing the same names and then, you know, people asking the same questions, right? People asking the same questions, Right, I mean, I've seen this. I've seen this several guys. I mentioned. I've seen it with Afi King. People asking the same questions over and over again. Right, the same people, and I'm like, dude, are you just watching this for entertainment, or are you going out doing some stuff? Right? Are you are you making any moves? Okay, you watch the video. You thumbs up the video. You would be like, this is fire, hundred percent. Right. But, okay, so are you going out and putting it into practice? I'm going to tell you something my son does. You know, got him some uh, video games and stuff, right? Video games for, you know, Christmas. You know, he at that age and stuff, right? Now, he hadn't played the video games before, right? He hadn't, he hadn't played them before. I noticed before he uploaded, he, uh, you know, uploaded them, you know, put the disc in and stuff. He used this little device and went to some YouTube channels where they were playing the game. Like a game I got was uh, the latest Call of Duty, right? So he hadn't played it before. So he he looked at it. He was looking at the videos. I was like, you going to put that in? And he was like, no, I need, I need to look at this and see how to play it, right? And that's all he did. He'll do that one time with everything, right? But see, you, it's the same. A lot of dudes, they're going to watch the game and, you know, somebody say something. Or for those few people who uh, might field infield stuff and I ain't going to get into that. But, you know, they'll watch that and they'll do all this, all this analysis. Sometimes even they can, they can have some pros or something, some real pros on it. And they're talking about, yeah, I do that. You know, yeah, this is what's happening and all of that. I'm like, you get in the field with all of that? And it's like, no, nah, not really. Y'all got to get out there. Because I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to use the example, right? Here's an example. You can read a thousand books on sex. Like, I, I, knew, I knew this cat, right? And this dude had actually learned some techniques from a tantrum master. But yet this dude, even though he was nearing 40 only had sexual experience with two women. And I'm thinking to myself, how you, how you going to read all that stuff but have so few women, right? Because I'm going to tell you something with that. Let me use the example of sex. You can read all the books. You can watch video. You can watch instructional videos. But it's nothing like that first time you know, your penis goes in a woman's vagina and she contracts. <laughs> Trust me, hey, all the books, all everything can't prepare. You can even read about that happening, right? You can read about that happening and say, yeah, you know, if they turned on that cervix contracts and, you know, she may have an orgasm from it. It's one thing to read about it. Oh, it's one thing to be uh, see a video talking about it. But when you go in there and actually feel it, trust me, it's a whole different sensation. And that's, that's how it is with uh, dealing with women and stuff. You can read all this stuff, listen to everybody, uh, listen to all this advice. And I've, I've seen plenty of people. They'll, they'll study this. They'll, they'll go around to different coaches. But I'm like, 
it ain't the same thing as actually being with that female and actually going out there and actually pulling a woman. It, it, it ain't the same. Because one of the things with getting in the field, well, see, one of the things with any of these videos and stuff, at the end of the day, we're just giving our perspective on something. At the end of the day. And we telling you something. And, I mean, no matter what, we can base that on our own experience or if we're smart, our experience and experience of those successful. But that's still, you still got to do the thing. It's like, it's like basketball. You know, it's college basketball season, so I always like using that as an example. You know, you can read all the books and watch all the videos about how to do some shots or something, but you still got to get out there and do it. Like, have you ever seen something demonstrated, some move or anything? It could, it could have been with anything. And, it, you know, you see how it's done visually. But then when you do it yourself, it's a totally different thing. But the only way to really deal with that, you got to get out there. See, you understand something. And um, when you look at me and you look at a lot of uh, the coaches now, especially if we're older. Especially if we're older, this is before the internet. Everybody, the dudes got out there, didn't have instruction on how to pull women. No major instruction. Even the older cats, they might just say, most they say, man, go talk to that woman. They wouldn't be like, oh, this is what you need to say or something like that. Or if they did, it wouldn't be like some two hour seminar or something like that. All right? It's pretty much, they throw you out, they go talk to that woman. If you mess up, if they cool with you, like their older brother or uncle or something, they might say, you might say, okay, well, I said this, and the woman, she did, you know, she didn't respond. And they might say, well, you know, maybe you need to compliment her or something, compliment her shoes or something. They say something like, and some of them wouldn't do that. They'll just let you watch them. You had to figure it out by watching them. Like a lot of men, old school, used to get the game just by watching their elder. Watching somebody work, you know, watching them do their thing. And then you had to you had to take that information and apply it for yourself. But the bottom line is the only way you're going to do it is you go do it. Now, I pre I'm going to tell you the truth. I appreciate the support. I appreciate people checking out my videos, sitting through the ads and all of that. But the thing I really appreciate is when somebody can come back to me and say, you know what, Ram, I went out there and did that. And I was able to pull this bad, honey. That's what I want to hear. So you, in order for you to do that, you got to get out there. Now, if you, I mean, really, and really, honestly, I would prefer, I would prefer, and I'm saying this personally, I would prefer when somebody watches my stuff that they they doing it more for confirmation than actual instruction and then, you know, it's like, or oh, I say something, and they say, oh, I can relate. And then they can incorporate that. But because they out there and seeing it, I, I'd rather them get out there, see some stuff, and then maybe I talk about it and say, oh, okay, that's what's up. And they can say that because they out there doing it. You got to get out there. Now, one of the things I always say, now, different coaches might have different. I, I say just three. Just say for the men to say hi to three women a day. Just say hi, random. You know, it could be anything. It could just be catch it. You don't have to, like, try to get a number or anything just so you get used to it. But you got to get out there. And then, you know, you know, I, I talk about the damn principle. And for people who don't know, the damn principle is when you see a woman so fine, you say damn, and you just go talk to her. Right? Now, some other people have a different philosophy for, the, for that. And that's something I'm going to talk about in my next video anyway. Right? But... You still got to get out there. Get into the field. Go shoot. Go out. Shoot. After you hear this video, you know what? Well, think about what you're going to do. Go hang out. Shoot. If you work someplace, like uh, when I was working in downtown D.C., I used to see some fellas. They'd just be out at lunchtime. They'd just be macking, <laughs> talking some stuff. You know, wouldn't even be that serious. Just throw it out there. Have some fun with it. All right? But they out there, and that's the most important thing. So most of y'all, look, get out there, you know? Don't be just sitting on, on uh, online all day looking at all these videos, looking at all these coaches and stuff, and don't get out there and actually talk to a woman. Get out there. get Hit the club. Find that social event. Go to that meetup. Something. All right? So anyway, that's it for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.